In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at a box and whisker plot. A box and whisker plot is simply a nice visual way to understand data and to see how close values are to one another or how spread out they are. We'll begin this lesson by learning how to construct the box and whisker plot, and then we'll go ahead and talk about what the box and whisker plot actually means. We begin with example one, where we have 16 students participating in a race. We've recorded their finishing times, and we decide to create a box and whisker plot. We enter the data into the calculator, perform one variable statistics, and we're concerned with the section right here, starting with the minimum and ending with the maximum. The minimum score was 62. The maximum score was 77. The values in the middle, Q1, is known as the first quartile. 25% of the scores are lower than the first quartile. The median is the score directly in the middle. 50% of the scores are lower than the median. Q3 is the third quartile. 75% of the scores are lower than the third quartile. We write these numbers on our paper and then go to our number line. We begin with the minimum and the maximum, and we draw dots above the number line at those points. Then we move inward. 64 and 74 are the first and the third quartile. Those are the sides of our box. We begin the box at 64, and we end the box at 74. Now we go into the median, which is 71 and a half, and we draw a dashed line through the middle of the box. Finally, we connect the outlying points, the minimum and the maximum, with a couple of whiskers, and we now have our box and whisker plot. What exactly does this mean? Well, if you look at each section, we have 25% of all the students in those sections. So between 62 and 64, 25% of our scores were in that range. From 64 to 71 and a half, another 25% of our scores are in that range. From 71 and a half to 74, another 25% of the students had scores in that range. And finally, from 74 to 77, 25% of our students had scores in that range. If we look at the first part, that means four students were between 62 and 64. And if you look up top at the list, there are four scores in that range. In the second part, from 64 to 71 and a half, once again, there are four students who fell into that time range. 25% of them are between 64 and 71 and a half. The same is true from 71 and a half to 74. There are 25% of our scores, in this case four, that fall between those two numbers. Finally, in the maximum, we have from 74 to 77, this is in the upper quartile, we have four students who finished in that range and again, that's 25%. In the third example, we have the heights of 14 students in a math class. We want to identify the minimum, maximum, and the quartile values. Then, we want to create a box and whisker plot. Please enter this data into your calculator, find those values, and then create the box and whisker plot. Please pause the video here. We find our minimum is 55, our first quartile 60, median 64, third quartile is 68, and the maximum is 74. Then we create our box and whisker plot to represent that data. Remember, the height of 25% of our students is in each section of the box and whisker plot. The second part of today's lesson is percentile ranking. Suppose you took a test. You got the results back in the mail, and it said you're in the 80th percentile. That doesn't mean you got an 80%. It simply means you did better than 80% of people who took the test. 
A percentile rank is the percentage of scores that are at or below a given score. Here's how you calculate that. In example 5, we have the test scores of 20 students from an algebra test. You earned a score of 78. What percentage of the people did you do better than? In other words, what is your percentile ranking? All you have to do is count how many did worse than you. It looks like we have 8 out of 20 people who did less than 78 percent. 8 out of 20 is 40 percent. So 40 percent of the class did worse than you did. You did better than 40 percent, which means you are in the 40th percentile. How about example 6? Can you calculate the percentile rank of the score 87? Please pause the video here. 20 out of the 30 scores are less than 87. That gives us 20 out of 30, or 33.3%. So you are roughly in the 33rd percentile. You did better than 33% of all students who took this test. In example 7, our last example of the day, we have to do a little bit of thinking. Sally's average for four years of high school is 86%. Her average is in the upper quartile for her class. Upper quartile means between three and the maximum. There's 250 students in her class. What is the smallest number of students who have averages less than or equal to Sally's? And then we have to explain our answer. Let's begin by seeing what this really means. Here's a generic box and whisker plot, and Sally is in the upper quartile. She's in that last 25%. We know that there's 250 students, and 25% of them are in each of the quartiles. 25% in the first, 25% in the second, and 25% in the third section of the box and whisker plot. 75% of the students are in the sections that are below Sally's. 75% of 250 is roughly 188. So in sections 1, 2, and 3 of the box and whisker plot, there are 188 students. We don't know where in the last section Sally is, only that she's in there. So there are at least 188 students in the lower sections, and, you know, there might be a few more, depending how high she is, in that last section. But there's a minimum of 188 students. So here's what you need to know about box and whisker plots and percentile ranking. Box and whisker plots are very nice ways to look to see how spread out the data is. Each section contains 25% of your population. When we're dealing with percentile ranking, we're really looking at comparing your score to others. If you're in the 40th percentile, for example, it means you did better than 40% of students. It does not mean that your grade was 40. You could have a grade of 99, and maybe 60% of the class got 100. You could be in the 40th percentile with any score possible. Just remember, it means how many people did worse than you. So if you're in the 40th percentile, you did better than 40% of the class.